was the inspiration for you guys to really pursue building a green home? Well, we looked at the savings that would come to us later in life and we might appreciate having some savings, such as paying no electrical bills, such as paying no water bills. We wanted to build a green home because we thought it was the right thing to do. Uh, we see uh, very expensive homes going up and their carbon footprints are huge and their use of energy is very wasteful and we wanted to show Houston that, that things can be beautiful but, but, but efficient. Compared to homes you've lived in before or the one you live in now, what's going to be more attractive about this one? One of the nice things is it's virtually a no maintenance house. There's no wood in the exterior of the house. It's all steel and aluminum and glass. So you're not constantly replacing things, constantly repainting things. Same with the air conditioning. The geothermal is down in the ground as opposed to some compressor sitting out in the back of the garage or something that has to be replaced every five years. There are a number of um, efficiencies in this house. For example, we can open the windows and allow the hot air to escape in the summer. Uh, our house is oriented with the large windows to the north, which means that we get the cool light. The smaller windows are on the south, so we don't get so much hot sun light. The ventilation aspect of cooling this house is actually a very old technique. Uh, since the advent of air conditioning in the south, we've lost a lot of the building techniques that were once uh, very important uh, to cooling in the summer. Uh, one of them is cross ventilation. Uh, one of them is... Uh, the is orientation no of the house, north, south, east, west. And allowing the warm air to, uh, to rise and escape from uh, the house uh, so that it can be displaced by cooler air. And we've also used uh, trees effectively because on the south warm side, we have these three big wonderful oaks that, that, that produce really a, a lot of wonderful shade. So we're, we're trying to maximize the use of um, the natural features of the land. In Texas, in Houston particularly, we have the kind of sun that people would kill for in Seattle, in Chicago, uh, in St. Paul, but here we use it to transform the sunlight into electricity with the use of photovoltaic panels. It's a technology that's been around for a while. The oil industry uses it in the Gulf of Mexico. On their oil rigs, we're using it in abundance in 140 photovoltaic panels to power this house. And in fact, uh, we'll be a net exporter of power. We're selling electricity back to the power grid from this house. The sun in the southern sky provides the kind of light that's convertible to electricity, also with excess heat. The northern sky provides cooler light both in wavelength and in temperature and it's good light to live by. We're also using geothermal heating and cooling. That means that hot water from, from the house will go into the earth and be cooled in return for our source of air conditioning. And in the winter, the water that uh, is being used to warm the house will return to the earth and pick up the heat of the uh, 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 soil underground. So we're using a very natural uh, way of heating and cooling this house. We're also collecting rainwater from the roof to use as the, our source of water in the house, both for uh, bathing and plumbing and for cooking and drinking. This uh, project represents the first uh, permit in the city of Houston that allows rainwater to be uh, turned into drinking water for the entire house. This is where we're going to put the 7,000 gallon cistern that is uh, basically going to look like a very small swimming pool but with a top on it and a vinyl liner that gives it NSF certification for drinking. Most people want to get rid of the rain as fast as they can and then it's very often they end up buying that water back. Well, why would you want to throw out a, a resource that is that valuable and then end up buying back a product that is over processed for your use? Of all the things you experienced in this project, what was the best thing and what's been the hardest or most challenging aspect? I think the best thing has been the solar. We went out way in advance and bought up the solar panels and stored them. So they've been sitting in storage for a long time now. I think some of the more complex stuff has been the steel structure of the house. It's really more like an oil rig or an office building. It isn't really very much like a house, so it was kind of hard for some of the workers to get their hands around it. 
Another challenge we had in the construction of this residence were the tight building site. We had 65 inches of rainfall this year, and we had to drill 10 300-foot deep geothermal wells. That made for a real challenge to position these wells within this site and keep them being the proper distance apart without infringing upon the footprint of the building. I would tell other people that this is very possible, that the economics are sound, uh, the technology is experienced, and um, we, we just hope everyone uh, will take our lead and go green. <laughs>